rodents that are actually not gross and that I want to hug as soon as possible. We got the pygmy jerboa. I mean, how am I to continue to live knowing that I will have to travel several continents just to hold one of these guys? They're one of the smallest rodents to ever exist, weighing in at under a gram. It does look like a child's preschool art project come to life, like the child wished really hard. Then we have the Mongolian gerbil. Fun fact, this gerbil brought the flower for the photo shoot. They're extremely social. They tend to pair off with each other for grooming purposes and also to play together, like kittens. And they eat their own shit. And then we got the classic long-tailed chinchilla, known for their thick, luxurious hair. At least 60 hairs can grow from one follicle. Talk about overachieving, my little guy. High five, yeah. And because their fur is so dense, they can't get wet because uh, mold will grow onto their skin. So instead, they have to roll around in like dust to clean themselves. Tucker, do we have a clip of them rolling uh, around in the dust bowl? Yeah. Okay, can we play it? Yeah, sure, put it up. I mean, is that not the cutest thing you've ever seen? Yeah, it's fine. Okay, you fucking suck the fun out of I, everything. You don't I'm talk so to me 